Hey everybody, welcome back to Learn With Parka. I'm Chanel. And I'm Kelly. And this week for Learn With Parka, we want to talk about one of the most frequently asked questions that we get. And that is around the topic of lead generation. So this week we want to bring you the three best ways to increase your lead generation in the new year. Starting with paid search. A lot of people refer to this as PPC or Google AdWords. Really what we're talking about is those ads that show up on the top of Google, well actually on the bottom of the search results as well, when you're searching for terms that you're interested in. So it's really helpful depending on what your audience focus and what your niche focus is within staffing and recruiting to consider that. And we tend to see and find that people have said, well, we tried paid, it didn't work. But then when we really dig into it, all of the variables were not in place to make a successful campaign. And that's everything from running enough budget, having the right copy, sending them to a landing page that's yeah. actually relevant to the ad they're clicking on, and making it an opportunity for them to truly convert. And so we'd be happy to share way more in detail on that if you have questions, but that is certainly something in 2021 that given how, how Google's starting to morph its home pages, you're gonna find more valuable. I'm sure you've seen it, right? Even two, three years ago, there used to be two, maybe three ads at the top. And now it seems like half the page is ads. List, yeah. And then you have a small section for organic and then more ads. And so it really is becoming a pay to play market. Uh, now, a second opportunity comes down to gated content. So let's say the person you're trying to attract uh, client lead is not interested right now in filling out a form, you know, picking up the phone and having a conversation about your services and their hiring need, but they have pain points, right? Mm -hmm. They want to know what salary trends are happening or uh, what's going on in this COVID market and just in general changing times related to the places that, that you provide search or staffing mm -hmm. for. So if you can create things like eBooks or salary guides or white papers, uh, webinars on demand, all kinds of things can be promoted uh, through your social, through your email marketing, through paid on Google, through paid on social media channels mm -hmm. to really entice people that even if they're not interested in that bottom of the funnel offer, they might download something which can start the conversation. Right, and in order to download it, they have to fill out that lead generation form. I would have to type in first name, last name, company name, you know, and give them my contact information so that you can nurture them. And that's what brings us to our third point. The third best way to increase your lead generation is through email marketing. So if you already have an existing distribution list of clients, whether they're previous clients, prospective clients, etc. You want to make sure that you are staying top of mind with them. So that's at a minimum once a month. Maybe you send out a monthly newsletter to stay top of mind with that audience and to bring them relevant industry trends and the latest blog articles you're writing or any kind of gated content that you are producing that they would benefit from or learn from, right? That further reestablishes you as the thought leader um, in their inbox. So that's at a very minimum, but where the entire market is going and what is our highest recommendation is to think through uh, marketing automation and thinking through how to nurture uh, a buyer or a prospective client or candidate depending on what your overarching goals and objectives are how you nurture them through consistent email communications whether it's weekly bi-weekly every four to six weeks you can help build out that strategy to understand, okay, what are their goals? What are their pain points? If they don't have that immediate job opening right now, how do I stay engaged with them and stay top of mind so that when the time comes and they do have a role open up, you're the first person that they think of. You're the first person they call because you've done a great job building that relationship, fostering that trust and demonstrating thought leadership along the way so they know that you're the obvious choice, you're the obvious answer to these issues. Right. And problems. I just talked to a recruiting firm owner on the phone yesterday who said, I want to be doing more emails and staying relevant in front of my audience because they're not all hiring right now given COVID and I want them to know that I'm a thought leader just like Parker does. And yeah. literally he referenced our email newsletter and he's like, as a recruiting firm owner, getting that every single month is really relevant. Like I see a note from, from Tony, who is seeing the lay of the land. Who's our CEO. Sure, yeah. right, yeah, yeah. And, he, and he also runs an executive search and consulting firm and uh, we provide downloads and webinars and things in that newsletter that provide value, right? Yeah. So those emails you're sending should not all be sales related. Yes. They should be value adds so that if someone does have a need in the future, of course they think of you, but in the meantime, you're providing information to them that's really helpful and beneficial. Yeah, absolutely. So that's what we've got for you this week. If you have any more questions about lead generation or really 
be anything related to your marketing efforts heading into the new year, we want you to be set up for success. So reach out to us personally on our LinkedIn, visit parkermarketing.com to learn more, and we'll see you guys again soon.